Greetings, hi, hello. Oh my lord, welcome to October again. It is 6.30 in the morning on Friday and I woke up about 15 minutes ago. I heard someone upstairs and the cat, I could hear the cats little running around upstairs, coming downstairs for the breakfast as well. Um, but I went to bed at 10.30, so I got, honestly, a decent amount of sleep. I knocked out last night. I was getting so tired. I, like, called it a night at, like, 10, and I came downstairs and I read for, like, 30 minutes. Um, and my uncles were, like, lame when I was leaving to go to bed, because I was just like, I, I don't care. I'm so tired. Um, but I am getting ready to go for a run. Like I said... Like I promised myself when I was packing the other day, I'm going for a run. Probably most days that I'm here because I can't go to yoga class. I think, I mean, I could do some yoga. I think there's a yoga mat somewhere. Slash at least a place to do yoga in the house, but we'll just go for a run. I, I know it's still dark. The sun doesn't rise till about seven, but it should be... Maybe it's not bright enough to see a little something something. So maybe I will go upstairs and drink some water before going, which I should do anyway. This ponytail is too high. Um, but yeah, and then I think for today, I know this afternoon we're gonna go to downtown Littleton and kind of like walk around there, maybe walk around along the Platte River a little bit and do dinner down there and then go to Hudson Gardens for this little like pumpkin kind of thing that they have. Apparently it's just got, like a crap ton of pumpkins. I don't know if they're carved or what, like how they're arranged into displays, but it's best to go like at night. So I think we're going to go around eight or so. Um, but tomorrow will be the last day to see one of my uncles and his girlfriend because they are leaving tomorrow for a wedding in Indiana. So... Yeah, but it's been it's been really good so far, hanging out with everyone. Always getting into some uh, kind of discussions about like why I don't like Amazon and capitalism and why I try and support local business, which I feel like, I don't know, it seems like it shouldn't be a conversation to me, like why you should support local business, like why I buy things from mom and pop shops in Bozeman instead of online, um, especially if they're the same price. Like, of course, I'm going to buy it from a mom and pop shop. And even if it's just a little bit more expensive, it probably makes up for shipping and the fact that I probably would have to return the thing online if it doesn't fit. Anyway, um, so I got into some like kind of spicier conversations last night, but whatever, it's how it goes with family. I'm sure you are all familiar with conversations like that. Uh, but I don't know what we're going to do this morning. So yeah, I'm going to go for my run, maybe come back and try and get some work done. The thing is, is like, I literally cannot get work done at home. I can't do work at my own home in Bozeman and I can't do work at this home here. Um, so I might run to a coffee shop or something. I don't know what the plan is for this morning. And then maybe for lunch, try and meet up with one of my friends from high school. I don't know. It kind of depends on what she has going on for homework. Um, she's also in grad school right now. So yeah, but that's the plan. And now I'm just procrastinating, getting ready for this run. I just need to drink some water. Honestly, I'm probably gonna go for this run and take like a little rinse type shower to just rinse the sweat off. And then I'm gonna get in the hot tub. It's probably what I'm actually gonna do. All right, so I'm back from my run. Clearly I went for a run. Um, I went upstairs, like hung out for a while waiting for it to get lighter and I was like playing on my phone and I realized it was like 15 minutes had gone by. I was like, oh my god, I gotta go for my run or I'm not gonna go. Um, but I just did a little over two miles, a little over 20 minutes. My pace hovers around 945 per mile, which I, I do not care about my speed. It's literally just about getting cardiovascular endurance and moving my body, getting sweat going, heart pumping, lungs burning a little bit, <laughs> sweat going. My legs do get tired by the end, um, especially here where there's actual hills that I can run on. Um, but I basically just ran a route that I used to ride my bike on as a kid all the time. So I like, went out to this elementary school and like walked or ran by and stuff. But I think the school is closed, which is wild. Um, so I need to ask my <laughs> parents about that. Um, 
and I got home and my aunt is awake upstairs so we like chatted for a little bit and my dad is on a meeting right now so I don't want to like I don't know for sure I'm assuming the hot tub is good to use but I also don't want to get in if it's not good to use and I don't know for sure but he's on a meeting so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and shower and start getting ready but the book that I am reading I wanted to tell you a little bit about earlier and I forgot is Silka's Journey which is it's kind of like a sequel to The Tattooist of Auschwitz um, it's about the story of a different woman who is in that book and it's like a um, what is it? A historical fiction. So there are aspects to it that are nonfiction, but it is like a novel. It is a story. There are embellishments. There are, um, I don't, I don't want to say falsities, but I guess falsities, but it's been really good so far. I am on page 95 out of, that's the afterword, which I'll probably read, but I don't count that. Um, out of 330 and my goal is to finish this book so I can leave it behind for my stepmom because she's the one who gave me the tattooist of Auschwitz when I think she gave it to me when she came up for my surgery I didn't read it right after my surgery but I read that book very very quickly and this one's a lot longer than that one was um, so it's been really good so far it's basically about this woman Silka she was in um, Auschwitz Birkenau Auschwitz and she was basically like chosen by the um like head guy of the concentration camp to basically be his like sex thing um so she was raped and abused and stuff by him and because of that when the soviets came to were they the soviet union at that time yeah when the soviet union i'm pretty sure they were came and like liberated the camps they thought because she had sex with the enemy that she was on their side and a spy and she also learned all these different languages through working in the camps and she just picks up languages quickly and the fact that she spoke multiple languages made it seem like she was a spy so she gets sentenced to 15 years in a gulag in russia and so that is what this novel is about so far so there are some spoilers in that little description that i gave but not really that many spoilers you learn all of that within the first like i don't know 10 pages of the book <coughs> but yeah it's really good so I think what I'm gonna do is shower I need to wash my hair I wore a hat yesterday on the plane as you saw and I just need to after getting sweaty and being in a hat and stuff I need to wash my hair shower um and then go upstairs figure out some breakfast of some sort I'll probably do some reading because that's what my st um what my aunt is upstairs doing and yeah I still don't know what the plan is for this morning because I haven't talked to anyone <laughs> Hello, so it is 11.48. I am driving my high school car. Um, I am driving Penelope. She's a 20, or sorry, she's a 1998 Toyota Avalon with 339,140 miles on her. She's a tank. Um, but I am driving to go meet my friend for lunch. We are going to first watch which is somewhere we've gone a handful of times together when I've come to town. So it was kind of just like, you know, I just want something easy. Let's just go. Let's just keep the tradition alive, you know? Um, my stepmom just got home and her, my aunt and uncle are going to go to lunch and then run some errands, I think. And then eventually we're all going to converge back at the house in order to just play some games and hang out before going to downtown Littleton and behind the scenes tap house to then just like try some beer, um, have some pizza from the food truck before going to the, oh shoot, what is it called? The pumpkin palooza, oh, I'm not turning. Oh, I am turning, but there's no turn to turn, you know? That's just a curve of the road. The pumpkin palooza, whatever the heck it's called at Hudson Gardens, like I talked about earlier. Um, but it was nice. My aunt and I just chatted on the couch for like two hours or so. Um, while my uncle was napping before I left for lunch. So yeah, I am excited to go get some brunch, catch up with my friend who I haven't seen, I think. Oh Lord, did we meet up when I was here in June? I feel like we must have. I usually try to do a really good job of meeting up with my friends when I'm here. So I need to text my, my other girly to see if we can meet up at some point. Um, but yeah, so I will check in with you later. I guess I shouldn't have turned on the car, but it is now 1.34. I am, oh, I cannot see 
the screen at all with these polarized glasses on. I am done with lunch with my friend. It was very, very good. We met up at noon, so we hung out for quite a while. Um, I got a pumpkin pancake with eggs and hash browns, and it was delicious. She treated me to lunch, which is just so kind of her. It was really good catching up with her, talking about she's about to switch jobs, so talking about that. She's also in grad school, talking about that like checking in with her family and like her partner and also of course talking about people we went to high school with and like what's been going on with them if she's just like still in contact with any of them because I'm she and then my best friend who I grew up next to are the only two that I'm still in contact with from high school really because those were my two closest friends everyone else we kind of like fell apart or not fell apart just like kind of drifted apart because I was like one of the only ones who went away for school uh, and left the state um so talking about <laughs> some mutual friends that we have um or like she's more so friends with and i'm just kind of like i would say acquaintances with uh so may or may not potentially be grabbing like a drink tonight with her and some other people maybe like her partner and um potentially high school acquaintances but i told her she like wasn't sure if she wanted to meet up with them or not and then I was like I do have plans tonight with my family but like if the timing works out I could potentially join in so that may or may not be happening I have a feeling it's not going to happen but yeah it was really good to see her and also my stepmom uncle and aunt also went to the same restaurant so they showed up <laughs> they showed up like five or ten minutes after we did um, cause they also were going out for lunch and they said that they might be going there, but it was just kind of funny. So my stepmom came over and said hi because they work at the same hospital. Um, oh, good old what's worth the traffic. I'm going to say goodbye now. So I'm home, but my nail polish is super chipped and my camera's not focusing. There we go. So I want to repaint my nails. Ideally I'd probably trim them, but... I think I'm too lazy for that, so I just need to figure out what color to paint my nails. Um, is this top coat that's gel? Okay. I want to do something dark. I've done this one before, and I like how dark that one is. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Oh, maybe I'll do that color. I'm going to pull that aside. There's just so many options. Oh, I like how dark that one is, too navy blue hmm i've done this one before this one's just straight up black this is from like when i was in middle school <laughs> i know that so i'm gonna figure out what color to do i remember this top coat that's also from like middle school i think it'd be cool to do something really dark with the shimmer on top maybe or just keep it dark this is pretty, but I know this is thin. Do, do, do. I'll have to decide. This is the color I chose. I had like an array of different blues, so I could do like a different blue on each nail. But there was only four matte ones, and one was a shimmer, and it was going to really bother me if only the pinky was shimmery. And so I'm just going to do this color, which is... Oh my gosh, Teal Appeal by Pure Ice, apparently? All right. <laughs> a shadow of one beside it. But yeah, it kind of makes it <laughs> That's what it does for me. It what makes it look cool. Oh. Scary looking.
sorry, we're, we've been back from the pumpkin thing for a while. It's past 11 now, it's like 11.15. We got back from the pumpkin thing. I gave Matt a short call just for like less than 10 minutes. And my dad and I played two games of cribbage and I destroyed him in both of them. <laughs> my dad almost always beats me in every game we play. So it's, it's fun to be able to beat him every now and then. Um, but yeah, I am going to be getting ready for bed right now. So thank you for tuning in and I will catch you tomorrow.